Now remember, it's just like an auction. You can get good bargains at a yard sale. What do you know about it? I just thought it was old. That's thought it was closet. old. Okay, what's old? My mother's 93, she thinks I'm young. My niece is 20 dozens. What's old? Age is relative. At least 50 years old. You think it's 50 years old? So once you hit 50, it's old? We have to just pack it in? More than 50. No, I'm just saying anybody, right? It's 50, it's old, forget it, you're done, right? You think it's only, you think it's more than 50 years old? I think it's more than 50 years old. I'm thinking maybe 1920s. 1920s. So what's happening in the 20s? The Jazz Age, you know, the Charleston, right? Is that what they're making in the 20s? Go older. Okay. I like 1907 to 1910. Okay. Now, it is unmarked. Where was it made? U.S. I think. United States. It's probably made somewhere in Indiana. Could be made as far west as Colorado, right? This particular uh, glaze is a uh, relatively nice overglaze. The good piece. Do you like the color? Um, I wasn't especially. Oh, you don't like the color, but I do. I bought it. Gary, you're the color guy. You like the color? What do you think, Gary? He likes the color. He can match it to the stuff that's on his walls. I've seen worse. Gary's interior design. Right? You've seen uglier? Right. Ugly's your first clue to value. Right? I used to work at the Yale Art Gallery with the swish paintings by Picasso. You want ugly? Get a Picasso. Ugly. Right? Valuable? Yeah. Ugly? Yeah. Valuable? Yeah. Value on this which dates to about 1900, 1907. Value on that's going to be about 140 bucks. What did you pay at the yard sale? Two dollars. Two dollars. Just wanted a little memento. It's like the diamond engagement ring, right? Yeah. The Duncan Fife sofa. You know, the real estate. Just a memento. Just, yeah, just small. You know, and you went in and said, "Oh, I'll just take this." Right. What should you have taken? The diamond ring. Yeah. The Duncan Fife sofa. The real estate. So you took this, it's cute, it's pretty. What are you going to do with it? Put it in your china closet? Yes. Exactly. Is it hand painted? I really don't know. It's hand painted? Is it oh. hand glazed? It's hand glazed. Is it made in Bavaria? I hope so. It says Bavaria on the side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it dates before 1891. Oh. Relatively old. So maybe it was the mother of that particular woman? It could be, yes. German origin. Nice bright white clay. If you cover up the mark, nice bright white clay. And a nice round perimeter here with a scroll edge. 22 karat gold banding. This is a $35 plate. It's not bad for that. I purchased the item in China. Really? Yes. Gorgeous. Thank you. Did you pay a lot for it? I think the uh, quote went to about 100 US dollars. Okay. How long ago? 25 years or more? No, actually. I said six, but probably more like seven or eight years. Ago. Okay, so seven or eight years, you paid a hundred dollars for this piece. Right. How old do you believe this piece to be? You bought it. Now, how old is it? I believe it to be approximately sixty to seventy years old. So you think it's from circa nineteen twenty, maybe nineteen thirty? So you liked it and you bought it. What made you like it? Uh, the color combination. Color combinations, because you're an interior designer on the side. What do you no. care about color combinations, that's Scott? Right. That's the best brand. You like color combinations or you thought it was worth more? I thought it was worth more. Than what you paid. That is correct. Is that true? So you thought you're getting a bargain. What type of ceramic is it? This is called moriage. Moriage is a wet slipware. They actually mold the piece, they fire the piece, and then they go back and they paint on the wet slip or the wet clay. That's how you get this nice textural feeling. In this part, which is called the cartouche or the open feeling, what you have, in fact, with the open feeling is a place for you to actually paint a narrative or paint a story. You see these on things in Russia, you see these on things in Asia. You see that there's a place for you to tell a story on these particular sides of these vases. Right, Gary? Pretty nice. If you say so. If I say so, oh, I do have all the stuff to say so, right? Value of this piece is about $1,200 retail. And it dates to about 1890 to 1900. Some pieces, however, like this one, are relatively rare and unusual. How'd you acquire this one, which is a Dutch piece? Um, I mean, uh, from my roommate from his mother's estate. That's right. Your roommate from his, no, uh, his mother's estate. His mother's estate. Okay. Right. So this particular piece is also a picture, small scale, right? This particular piece is Mark Holland, Dutch piece. It is an 
Art Nouveau piece. It dates between 1900 and 1970. Art Nouveau forms sinuous lines, nice curves, organic forms, made famous by Louis Comfort Tiffany and others. This particular piece is a Gouda piece, just like the cheese. I know a little bit about cheese. <laughs> and value on this piece is $350 to $550. Oh, wow. I would say that in the market today, you could command $550 for it retail. That means someone actually paid $550 for a similar one. Do you only have this one piece or do you have a set? Ah, uh, just the one piece. Ah, beautiful, oh, beautiful. Now, I don't want you to submerge it in water. I don't want you to put end dust or any kind of commercial cleaner on it. I don't want you to do breeze around it. Okay? Right. White cotton cloth to keep the dust free of it. Ah, okay. I okay. just need some water in it. No it water in it. Don't rinse it out. You see my face <laughs> and my finger. No. <laughs> The dirt can come off of the white cotton cloth. Oh, okay. Old yeah. underwear, old t-shirt, old tube socks, gotcha. white cotton cloth. Okay. Beautiful. This is a solver or a salt dish. And in the late 19th, early 20th century, you would have a big dish of salt and you'd have your individual salts or solvers. And literally you'd have this much salt to put on your food. And it would go right next to your dish and you could put all the salt on it that you want. But most cardiologists are telling us, let's stay away from salt. Solvers fell out of favor. This is one of a set of usually six or 12. Do you have any others? Just this one. This one's made in Limoges, France. This one is unmarked. And this particular solver would have been, as I said, part of a set of six because they would have it as part of a place setting. Value on it, about $25. So it says, made in the USA, Limoges. Why does it say Limoges? Well, Limoges is a place in France. Limoges, France is one of the key places where the pottery manufacturers would actually set up shop because the clay in Limoges is so good. In the United States, there were certain pottery manufacturers that wanted you to think that you were getting a piece of Limoges, right? But this isn't a Limoges piece at all. It's a beige colored clay, right? Here in the United States, not particularly high quality. How did you acquire it? I don't remember her matching. She always had it. Grandma always had it. Okay. Do you have the matching sugar bowl? Do you have? I have a whole set. You have a whole set of this that says Made in the USA Limoges with the mark on the bottom. Okay. It's transferware image. That means that the actual decoration is transferred on like a piece of wallpaper that's then transferred onto the pieces of clay. It is actually glazed over and then refired in the kiln. This piece in my hand is worth about five dollars. The entire set, you have a service for eight, a service for 12, accessory pieces, a gravy boat, a platter, the whole deal. It's probably the whole piece, all the pieces, if you have the complete set in good condition, you're probably looking at about 250 to $300. But the fact that it was grandma's is important. Do you keep it in a china closet? Yes. Okay, how often do you open the china closet? Never. Once every month, nor never. Open it okay, opening it often is very important because most people don't. How many of you have a china closet? How many of you never open it? Eh, once in a while, about once a month for about eight hours, I want you to let the heat escape. You're all keeping it closed, trying to make sure that the dust doesn't get in there, the dirt doesn't get in there. It's the heat that will do the damage. And those china closets, they actually act like greenhouses. They just retain heat.